This is a quick overview of the architecture and vision for the retail demo we've put together for RAD server. There's two parts to this. There's the RAD server itself, which is the back end, And then we have the FireMonkey multi-device client application, which the customer will use on the front end. It'll run on either iOS or Android and actually could run on Windows or OS 10 as well, but they're not quite as portable. So when the customer fires up the application, the first thing they're going to do is log on. And this is going to validate their credentials against the EMS database. Now you could use an external validation system, whatever system you have in place that you want to validate your customers against, or you could just assign your customers a unique ID. And then the customer never has to mess with the username and password. It just validates them automatically when they connect. So there's lots of options available to you for how you want to validate your customers. Once the customer is validated, though, the application will request specials for the store that they're at from the RAD server. The RAD server will pull these details from a separate database that contains information about the retail store. While using the application, the application has a beacon fence map embedded in it. In this case, we're using a hard-coded map, but that map could easily be downloaded when the user connects to include updates to reflect changes in the store, or if the user is visiting a store they've never visited before and that was perhaps created after the app was released, that can be downloaded dynamically. So now the user could use this as a map of the store to help them find things, to navigate the store, find the products looking for. But also what we're gonna demonstrate here is that as the user enters different zones, so different departments in the store, we will send a notification from the client application to the RAD server letting the server know what zone they've entered. And then that will give the server an opportunity to respond by sending down specials for the zone that they're in. And also in some zones, we're gonna have a light that's gonna come on to alert the customer to a special offer. So as the customer enters the zone, when they get near this light, it's gonna come on so that they can see what fantastic offer we have available for them. The Lights can actually be turned on from the client application, and that's because we're hosting the server in the cloud, and it would require a VPN connection from the cloud down to the client application, or down to the local IoT devices in order to do that. Uh, could have been possible, but our IT department didn't want to put that together this quick. Another option as well would have been to set up a local server that could then relay the information via another connection going outgoing. But again, for simplicity's sake, we're just going to activate it via the client application, which you may want to do in your situation as well. So lots of options for how this is going to work, but this is one example here. So the light's going to kick on, and then after either an elapsed timeout or when the customer leaves the sales zone, the light will turn off because we want to have it ready to turn on again when the next customer arrives. Another feature we added is for the customer to have the ability to scan a barcode or to search for products by SKU or text. And that will give them the ability to look up product information and price information as they're shopping. Uh, this can also actually be a connected to the beacon fence system to help them navigate to the location in the store where the product is they're looking for if they're searching by text. But if they are searching by product and they find the product they're looking for, they could potentially also buy that product right through the application. Uh, lots of options here to see what they're doing, to include special offers for customers if they have special discounts, et cetera. 